Singer J1 robbed um, days after flaunting cash on social media, and then he calls out the club in Ibadan. Yeah, so I don't know. I just feel something is <laughs> not right about the story. They probably stole your phone. Okay, people go to club and they steal their phone. Mm. Don't make it look like what it is not. Maybe they stole your. F I mean, I'm, 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 this is not what happened. I'm just saying that's mm -hmm. how I feel about the story. Maybe they stole your phone. You try talking to the manager as J1. I need to get my phone, and the manager's like, "What do you want me to do? Mm. They stole your I phone." Don't think that, well, the way I, the story came. They said they robbed them inside the premises. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If it feels like there was like a proper okay, Someone I targeted you. Gone, I get this, and and it wasn't really. Like, that's how I feel about it. And then it. he's saying it like they didn't really um, show any concern. Like yeah. okay, so like what do you want us to do about it? So I really don't get it. The fact that you went to the club, were you called for a show? Were you there respond? Because even when you are parking in club, they tell you uh, cars parked at owners' risk. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So there are a lot of things that you know that when you are going to certain environments, it's it's a risk. You see a lot of people going into the club and they are talking in their expensive chains it's not Some because don't even go out with it. you know, it's not because they don't feel like they should flaunt their yeah. chain but because you know when you're in certain environments certain things are bound to happen and then um i feel yeah. like if it was robbed report to the police what do you want us to do not the uh, and then when you tell the managers and the managers are like okay we'll look into it and you're like no these are your guys you need to get there so what was your approach mm. how did you approach the situation before right. the manager started reacting the way they reacted. Well, unfortunately, we don't have. Do you understand? Full so the fact that we don't have full details. He said details. something about them fighting him and all that. But I mean, as much as we don't have full details, it's also a matter of you knowing if you were treated right or not when it comes to customer service. At mm. the end of the day, you went to a place, a place yeah. to spend your money. And well, should you, I, should I, I get so where um, J1 the, is. We don't know from. how the rob robbery happened. When whether down. it was really old. <laughs> Your phone was just on the table, or your money, and somebody took it. No, no, I really think it was targeted. inside the compound or something. So, so if it was a, like uh, somebody pointed a gun, or you know. I mean, we nothing really is impossible, but unfortunately, yet, but we don't have the full story. Yeah, so. I just feel report to the police if you think you were. And then if you were trying robbed, to defame the club is another problem. Don't go there, or they will rob you. They will do the fact that it happened to you doesn't mean that that's how they operate. So I don't know why a lot of celebrities think that um, they can use their platform to bring down Especially brands. Especially when, when you're not telling that the full what story. If, I mean, there are cases where you go to a particular place and they treat you a certain way, and you you can actually feel like Elsie, Omo, don't go there. If this is happened. This is how they will treat you. It's not because you are a celebrity. I've been in that situation where there are places I've gone to and the service or even the food is terrible. I would tell my friends, I'm like, please don't go there, except you are fine with terrible food or terrible service. It's okay. something anybody can well, do. Um, I guess I where it's you. coming from, because if you have like huge following and maybe what happened is not exactly what you're putting out there and mm -hmm. you're just ruining somebody's business because you're angry. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we should well, but we don't know. And then he's saying that um, he's he now said. saying that the club paid bloggers to even defame him, which I did not say anything until he put it out there. <laughs> Do you understand? So I don't know if this this also looks like a publicity stunt. I don't know if you guys saw one of those funny things that happened on the popular blog site where upcoming artists are now putting out different stories like the King Nina thing, like oh, one and all. Oh. Do you understand? Like I really don't get it now. King so Nina maybe, story is it like? Huh? <laughs> yeah, the girl has come out to say that it's a lie, that she lied about it and she's sorry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, she came to uh, apologize to the King Nina now, right? Uh, so that's what she came that out was to do. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's, this other guy, there's this other that guy that was arrested by a uh, military uh, personnel mm -hmm. that they paid him for a show and I'm wondering who paid this guy 600k for a show we don't even know you bro mm. maybe that's <laughs> you why I don't believe j one story then because <laughs> I've seen a lot well, of publicity maybe and everywhere. maybe not but if they really want to blow up maybe she should contact EFCC and see me and we'll see how that goes okay. Bye. And that's